Okay, today we're going to be talking about the Wheel of Fortune card game. Uh, we just picked this one up over the weekend, and I thought we'd give it a try. Uh, a try. Um, <clears throat> we, growing up, we were big fans of Wheel of Fortune, and we loved Pat Sajak and Vanna White, and um, my wife used to watch it all the time with her grandmother, and anyway, we just thought, well, we'll give it a shot, and we were surprised. It actually feels just like a Wheel of Fortune game. Uh, so the way it works is you have your card, and it tells you that this is a person, and everyone playing gets to see that this is the person, and the answer key is on the back. And you can look up close here, it's half brother. Um, but but again, only the host knows what it is. And so what happens is you you then go through and you have them pick a random card. So the kind of the way we were doing is we're saying, okay, tell me when to stop. And whenever they would say stop, we turn it over. Boom, they hit the $500 on the, on the uh, wheel. And now all of their letters are worth $500. Uh, at any point during their turn, uh, before they spin the wheel, they can buy a vow uh, to be able to reveal a little bit more. And when they get a letter right, they get the $500. And so it plays just like Wheel of Fortune. Anyway, we were surprised with how much it plays like it. The other thing I was worried about was, well, how long will this last? I mean, it doesn't, there isn't a lot on each card here. But I was shocked to find out that look how many cards there are. I mean, it's just a ton of cards. And they're all front and back puzzles. Um, and so this game could foreseeably last a very long time. So anyway, a whole lot of game in, in just a little tiny card box. And we were delighted that it really feels like Wheel of Fortune. So anyway, go give it a shot. See what you think. Uh, you're sure to love it. Thanks.